for joining us. It is so nice out there. I yeah. hope that you've had a chance to get out and enjoy some of that. It has felt very nice. Yeah, lots of people were finally able to do something besides ski and shiver in one popular spot. It was a big Easter egg hunt in South Jordan that was packed as it ever would be. Yes, news specialist Alex Crow is live in South Jordan. And Alex, I bet that nicer weather has something to do with this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Debbie, you know, you can't blame anyone for wanting to get outside today. It has been quite the winter. So when word spread that the spring spectacular here at the South Jordan softball fields that that event was still on today, a lot of people who don't even live in the city decided to come on out. The countdown didn't really matter because no way could people wait any longer. We wanted to find a good egg hunt for everyone. It finally felt like spring. So when Adeline Strong Say hi. heard South Jordan was still going to have its spring spectacular today, what is she wearing? She had to get her family outside, especially after the winter we just had. The four seasons of Utah are almost winter, winter, still winter, and road construction. Thousands of people had the same idea. Say hi, Claire. And although a few other cities decided to cancel their Easter egg hunts because of weather, oh, my goodness. South Jordan decided this tradition was important this year, knowing lots of people just wanted to get outside and do something. The turnout is so much bigger than we thought. The warmer temperatures came out just in time. City leaders were working on a backup plan. Two days ago, when this ground was covered in snow, we were trying to figure out what to do, and so we have tables prepared in case we had to set them up in the parking lot and pass out Easter eggs as people drove by. Did you guys all get enough candy today? Instead, it went off as intended. <laughs> Along with a basketball dunk team and a petting zoo for kids. Where even the pigs might have been excited to hunt for Easter eggs. <laughs> sure, the field was a little wham, but people don't seem to be bothered whatsoever by it. Amazing what a little warm weather and sun can do for us. I was pumped. I saw the, the grass is clear and we got our little rain boots on, ready for the mud, and away we went. Yeah, everyone got a little muddy today out there in those softball fields, but when you saw the smiles on their faces, Dan and Debbie, I think it was worth it. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it. Boy, what a beautiful day. Thanks a lot, Alex. It is. Well, many other Easter events taking place across the state today. Easter Egg Stream at Thanksgiving Point. Easter Egg Stravaganza at Young Living's Lavender Farm. Not quite as purple as usual. And Loveland Living Planet Aquariums. All bringing tons of families out to enjoy the finally spring-like weather.